good evening London or good afternoon whichever it may be <laughs> it's coming up to four o'clock and there is a sun well sunset is in about two minutes although it's a very cloudy day today so there's not much sun out there but the moonrise is in about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, I want to get out there and capture it tonight I've shot many times before from Waterloo Bridge to capture the moon but tonight I want to go down just a little bit along the south bank for a slightly different view try and get the uh, St Paul's Cathedral in the foreground and I'll take you along for the journey hope to get some nice shots yeah it's like 70% cloud at the moment the forecast says and over the next hour it's going to go down to like 50% and then the skies are going to clear a bit more so I'm, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to see the, the moon as it rises but it's probably like 10 to 20 minutes after the, the moon rise I would be able to see it if we have clear skies so I'm just going to get down find the find the location and uh you know what will be will be <laughs> this will be my first vlog hopefully i can get it posted and capture a nice image of the moon rising over london and over the city and uh be happy to share it with you <laughs> so i'm pretty much just walking under water the bridge at the moment which will take us out onto the south bank which is from waterloo station to the south bank is five minute walk so if you ever fancy getting up to london to uh stretch your legs take some photos then as I say, come out of the station, head down the steps into the underpass, walk under Waterloo Bridge, and I can pretty much see it ahead of me now. So once you're, uh, once you're up here, you're, you're just a few minutes walk away. So as you can tell, pretty cloudy. <laughs> um, hmm. Am I optimistic? Who knows? It's, uh, I'd say, a very 50-50. I... I think the forecast that I follow on the Clear Outside app is generally pretty good. But there's a lot more cloud than sky out at the moment, so... <laughs> uh, at the moment it's not looking good, but I reckon there's going to be the next... Anywhere from 20 minutes time through to the next 60 minutes, there's going to be like a half an hour window where that moon's rising, coming over St Paul's. I might even come back off the South Bank up onto Waterloo Bridge, which is just like... Know, just a few minutes and then as the as the moon drifts across the sky it will essentially drift over the city of london so i can walk along the bridge that way and just kind of as it's moving to the right i'll be moving to the left and therefore we'll be able to keep it in the shot <laughs> So at the moment it's very very cloudy and <laughs> uh, no sign of the moon yet which is it's just rising now as we speak um it's probably got like half an hour um, before it's going to be above st paul's so yeah if the cloud stays there i won't get a shot with st paul's in the foreground but if it starts to clear a little bit then you know i'll be basically from here um the moon's got to carry to go over so the more it goes uh, the more the sun rises the further i need to go back that way back towards waterloo bridge and i should be able to kind of keep it you know sort of nicely in the composition for the city and then you know in the next hour or two it's just going to go you know, right above over the city over the shard and uh, the rest of london it's just starting to illuminate so now it's quite nice because it's just just starting to get dark the lights of the the buildings are starting to come on um there's a nice christmas christmas tree at the top of tower 42 so uh yeah i'm gonna grab a shot of that and then just you know just wait and see see what this weather does <laughs> <laughs> So unfortunately no joy with the moon tonight. There's way too much cloud up there. So I have had a wander back down the river to, I'm almost at Waterloo Bridge now. I'm gonna have a walk up there and it's, it's actually quite a nice, sort of nice deep blue color sky tonight. So I'm gonna grab a shot of the city from there. If the, if the moon <laughs> looks like it's gonna pop out in the next 10, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, then I'll stay up there to capture it. But at the moment on that, on that part of the world, it simply looks too cloudy. Towards the west of London, over London Eye, so the other side of London, uh, Waterloo Bridge, is actually a lot clearer sky. Um, so the forecast, as I said, was like 50-50 or like 50% around about five o'clock tonight, which <laughs> might be the case, but unfortunately it's just 50% on the wrong part of the sky. So uh, such is life. Oh, 
I'm just going to have a, a walk across the bridge, get a couple of shots of the city because the, the, the light is nice. It's just, it's just a just a nice deep blue, royal blue sky tonight. Nice reflections on the water, so the tide's on the way out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to capture one or two shots just as the city as it is and then if the moon shines, we'll get that as a bonus. <laughs> I'm just up on Waterloo Bridge and taking a moment to sort of appreciate the, the work and effort that goes into any successful YouTuber <laughs> and their channel because <clears throat> it certainly takes a long time. You've got to plan, obviously, the content in advance. Well, to a degree, it's obviously good to sometimes just get out and kind of walk and shoot and see, see what comes. But the, uh, you know, tonight I had a, a plan and intention and obviously it's, it's not really happened as I, as I intended because, because of the, the weather conditions, which is often the case within photography that it's such a huge factor in the uh, in the equation that is simply out of our control so just about thought i was finished and uh just walking towards waterloo train station and the, the moon has now popped out <laughs> so the sky is somewhat clear and i can get a shot of it by the forget the name now it's the building next to the south bank tower so i'll have to look that up <laughs> but i'll grab a shot here it's not the best shot in the world but it's a shot <laughs> and uh yeah we'll see how it looks <laughs> and sometimes you just gotta make the best of the uh the situation in front of you so so just looking at the composition now so the, the moon is so bright against the dark sky and the, the building in the foreground is just just a, a silhouette really you can't really make too much out it's just a black image <laughs> with the moon in there um, there's some there's some cloud in the foreground at the moment, so it's not like a perfectly round moon. I could bracket it and get some foreground interest, I guess, from the building. I'll just get another shot now with the uh, that cloud is just pretty much past. So um, I mean, I'll take another one. I'll take one at three seconds, which is open up a bit of detail for the building. But if you see these two images, well, it's going to take some kind of blending. It's actually, the, the cloud itself is pretty amazing, to be fair. Um, if I accept the, the moon to be blown out, then you can actually get a bit of foreground interest with the building. And there's this really, really sort of textured detail from the, from the, uh, from the cloud, which is actually quite cool. That's a surprise to me. I'm, not, I, I'm sort of stood here thinking there's not really much of a shot, but that cloud is actually, it's really fierce actually, so that's cool. It's creating these amazing swells, so. Um, and, the, and the cloud is quite thick below and above the moon, but the moon is so bright, it's kind of like shining through. So you've got amazing texture above it and below it. And I'm just gonna open up this. The shutter speed again now because the that cloud has come over really dense in front of the moon so it might even give us a little bit of detail on the moon still i mean for me this this cloud is actually it's a beast and it's quite it's quite a cool um it's quite a cool look to the shot So I'm just manually focusing. I've got the focus peaking on, which is great, very helpful in this scenario. So on the self timer, I'm using a five second timer with such a long lens, sometimes it takes a moment just to stabilize. But, okay, that cloud has almost passed. So now the, the moon is really, really bright again. So about an hour ago, I'm down on the riverbank, the moon's not coming out, it's too cloudy, I've gone up to Waterloo Bridge, it's still very, very cloudy, I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's just, the moon's probably not gonna be uh, visible, for, for, certainly for a while. So I just ha had a walk down Waterloo Bridge, decided to get a couple of, I actually did a couple of short time lapse by the IMAX uh, cinema, um, just playing around with, uh, with my uh, wide angle lens down there. And, and I actually, just before I got there, I did see the moon kind of creeping out it, it, potentially into the shot so I thought the cloud is still too thick let's give it five ten minutes which is part of the reason why I decided to shoot time-lapse for ten minutes 
I then came back, the moon was here, and now I'm taking the shot. So I guess it's kind of an interesting, um, this, this is, it is what it is sort of thing. And when, when you come out to shoot photos sometimes, you, can't, you, you can never predict exactly what the conditions are going to be like when you're outside. And you know, this is, I guess, is a good example of it. I didn't get the shot that I came down for because I wanted to get a shot with the moon behind St Paul's. And, and you know, that shot wasn't available to me tonight. But you give it, leave it an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half now, and you know, I, I certainly haven't captured a great image. But I'll tell you something: that that cloud was so dramatic that I'm actually really happy with it. It's probably better than you know. I'll show you maybe a shot or two that I've taken of St Paul's in the past with the moon, where I've captured some you know really cool kind of compositions of the moon just literally floating on top of St Paul's on top of the cross, and yeah, that's that's really cool. But now is just an entirely different shot that I didn't imagine getting and for that reason I'm really happy with it because it's something very, di very different. You know this, yeah, I hope it's just a good example I suppose and maybe I'll even get this out as a vlog because <laughs> I've been saying all year it's, two th it's, it's, it's the 30th of December today 2020 so we've got one day left of the year and I'm sure a year ago I was saying right I've got to start vlogging next year or doing a YouTube channel or whatever it may be and I still haven't put that video together yet. So I've been out, I have been out a few times and I've tried to, sh one is very difficult to, you know, I'm a photographer, I'm behind the camera most days of the week and I have been for years. And for me to be on the other side of the camera is now, you know, it's a different, um, it's a different experience. So this is something for me to learn a lot about now in terms of how I present the camera, you know, how, how I even look at the lens. I've probably spent all this time vlogging and looking <laughs> everywhere else. But, you know, that's part of the, the journey. I've got to learn that, you know, that engagement with the camera and so on. And, um, yeah, I'll wrap up now. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will share if I've got any decent images of this moon, which I think I've got one or two. I'll share them up on the screen for you now. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time on, an, on another vlog, probably in 2021 now. So if you're out celebrating tomorrow night, then enjoy it. I don't think many people will be because the world is pretty much in lockdown at the moment. So... If you're with your friends, your family, your loved ones, whoever it may be, then you know, just have a great time and enjoy it. Good luck. And I'll see you or you'll see me or however it may be, um, once, one side of the camera or the other uh, in 2021. Bye for now. Cheers.